Elephant and Castle is a central London transport hub. It is steeped in history and was once known as the Piccadilly of South London, with its bustling theatres, shops and 2,000 seater cinema. A thriving area, it quickly became a settlement for both middle and working class. In 1941, the Blitz would change the look of this area forever. The tube station kept many civilians safe as the bombs dropped above. Elephant and Castle sustained heavy damage and many buildings were lost. The government planned to rebuild the area, making new homes, new green areas and a modern shopping centre. Because so many people lost their homes in the war, the government needed to house people quickly, so built tower blocks, which would cope for the mass accommodation. It was in this time that a mass immigration of African and Latino people started coming to the area. Many British working class people saw this as a catalyst to move into the suburbs of Kent and Surrey. The plans to rebuild the area after the war gradually ceased. Cheap housing was taken up by the immigrants and their own cultures allowed to flourish. Elephant and Castle by the 70s and 80s was seen as a prime example of multicultural London. Unfortunately, the area today just isn't up to par with other areas in London. The shopping centre is dirty, old and in dire need of repairs. The area is home to some of the largest housing estates in Europe, which are rife with crime and disrepair. The area is still a central route to London, so the roads are always congested. The area is always busy thanks to transport links, the London College of Communication and markets. However, it always seems that people are eager to rush through this place rather than to stay there. Elephant and Castle has a labyrinth of tunnels and underpasses which is sometimes filled with the homeless so it doesn't always seem like the nicest of places. The area is in such need of a visual makeover it is now regarded as one of the worst areas in London. My name is Charlene, um, I, I'm down here in Elephant and Castle today because we are promoting um, the Nintendo Wii game, Kirby's Epic Yarn. Um, part of our brief was to find the greyest area in London and we did a survey and it turned out that 1,500 people said that Elephant and Castle is in fact the greyest area of London. So we thought, right, so what can we do with that? Let's brighten it up a bit. So we're here in the centre of Elephant and Castle. We've covered um, a bench completely in some gorgeous colourful fabric with nice Kirby dolls. We've got some nice print bags hanging up with the Kirby games in and we're hoping to cheer up everybody's day. And so hopefully, you know, we've managed to cheer everybody up because of this grey area in London. So what is to become of this once highly thought of location? Southwark Council have announced a £1.5 billion redevelopment plan. London's growing Latino population, which have been largely residing in Elephant and Castle since the 80s, are also taking part in the regeneration project. 
Plans are being made to build new shops and homes to transform it into a Latin American corridor. The rundown shopping centre is scheduled to be demolished in 2012. In fact, work has already begun, with the new Strata building giving a glimpse of the future. The project will make 5,300 new homes, a new library, new open spaces and a brand new shopping centre. The aim is to make Elephant and Castle the thriving location it once was before the war. Where does this leave the cultural side of the area? New homes will almost certainly bring in a new set of people. Those who immigrated to the area will now be the ones who are displaced, as people with money will now take their place.